Would it make sense to do velocity banking to pay off your mortgage if you have a very low interest rate, 1.75 fix for set for 15 years? Louis, again, hey, Louis, let's say you're a diehard Christian or a Orthodox Jew, or you come from, uh, you know, maybe Muslim descent, maybe your religion, your, your, your morals have something to do with that, whether or not I should pay off debt or not. So let's evaluate Louis, who is Louis Gomez? Who are you? Why are you here? What's your purpose in life? Where are you going? Okay. You get to decide, do I want to leverage debt or do I want to be free from all the debt and not have any obligations whatsoever? I don't care if Grant Cardone is making millions of dollars leveraging debt. I don't care if Robert Kiyosaki is doing it. I don't care if Tony Robbins is doing it. If that's not a part of your genetic coding, your DNA, your, 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 it, if it affects your morals, why, why are you listening to that, right? Pay off the debt, be free is one way of looking at it, okay? Another perspective is you look at the environment, you look at the U.S. economy, you say, wow, we're over 26 trillion debt. Wow, the U.S. dollar has decreased significantly. Wow. The U.S. government has printed over $6 trillion in the last 12 months. Wow. Crypto has risen, Bitcoin, to almost 50000 Wow. Gold risen, silver, stocks, everything. Assets are going up. The cash is trash. It's going down. Cash is not king. No longer. Cash is only king amongst your friends. Cash is not king in the business world. It's debt. Debt. Whoever can leverage debt better is by far is going to have more. Simply because the guy that holds on to 300,000 cash in his bank account earning 0.01% versus the guy who leverages $30 million worth of real estate with his $300,000 in cash to obtain a lot of real estate and flip the money and create cash flow is going to reap the benefits of the current economic system that we live in. That is, that is just the facts. So coming back to you, Louie, we want to ask ourselves, all right, I've got this 15 year mortgage at 1.75%. What are the benefits of me paying this off? Let's say religion is not an issue for you. Let's say you don't have any, you know, um, cultural issues holding you back from making this decision. Let's just say it's a pure logical decision, pure logical decision. 1.75% on a 15 year mortgage, right? If I take, let's say you got $1,500 a month in cash flow, times that by 12, that's 18 grand. Is that correct? 1,500 times 12, $18,000. Option one, debt snowball. 1,500 a month, send it to your line of credit, uh, send it to your mortgage, uh, whatever, right? That's one way. You can do maybe infinite banking. 18K, send it to your policy, borrow out a portion, pay off the mortgage. Second option. Third option. You say, that's only 1.75%. This is, it's not even worth paying it off. The payoff is, I'm not going to have a payment, but I still got to pay taxes on it and all this stuff, and I still got to make repairs on the home. Wife wants me to redo the kitchen and the bathroom, and I'm trying to do the garage, and da 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 da, right? And now wife wants a pool for the kids, and now wife wants a garden, and da 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 da. You just keep putting money into that thing, anyways. So I instead of paying that off, hmm, what if I take my 1500 and go start a business, 
go partner with somebody, invest in myself, read books, obtain knowledge and information about the current economy that I live in, 10x my cash flow from 1500 a month to 15000 a month in the same amount of time that it would take me to pay off the 1.75%, right? And then at any point in time, I could write a check and pay off the debt and be cash flowing 15000 a month for the rest of my life through passive real estate investments or through passive income or through activity income in my business. You get to decide, Louis. Once you've made a decision, you got to stick to it. You don't want to go flop and flip and flop and flip and finesse and finagle and you don't want to do all that. Make a decision and move forward. Hope that helps. Christina, as long as the HELOC balance is two thirds of the HELOC limit, is there any point where the interest starts to become noticeable? Uh, yes. You know, why? Remember, we're trying to get out of debt, people, if that's the focus. If the focus is get out of debt, why are you trying to, say, abuse velocity banking? We don't want to abuse the concept. You have to run the numbers against debt snowball. That is your measuring stick. So if debt snowball gets you out of debt in 6.5 years, Velocity banking needs to do it at least 30 to 40% faster for me to consider doing the concept. I don't want to go 5% faster or 10% faster. I want to go at least, you know, like two, three, four, five years faster. You know, like there's a difference. Because if there's only like a one month difference, six months difference, it's, it's like, how much did we really do? Yeah, you're going faster, but it's like, eh, you know? So we want this thing to be effective a lot faster than that snowball. You measure it. Okay, here's my borrowing costs. Am I offsetting my borrowing costs when I make a chunk? Yes or no? If you can't solve for that, don't do the concept. It's that easy. You don't want to make the mistake of making a chunk, right? And then you, and then come to find out, you could have went faster just doing debt snowball. So now you borrowed money like a clown, right? You didn't do your homework. You didn't watch 50 videos. You only watched four or somebody said they watched 10 videos earlier. No, you got to really dive into this. This isn't simple debt snowball seven baby steps. That's why it, that's so attractive. It's so simple, straightforward, no issues, right? You're done. Problem is, over 75% of Americans still live paycheck to paycheck. So if everybody knows the Dave Ramsey move, but they're still living paycheck to paycheck, it makes you wonder, makes you wonder, right? What's the issue? What's the issue? Is it the concept that I'm being taught? Or is there a more effective way? Or am I, am I interpreting the, the concept incorrectly? Am I doing it wrong? Right, that, that's what we have to solve for. 750,000 in debt, 26,000 monthly bills, average 23,000 income. Whoa, 26,000 monthly bills, average income, 23,000. No credit, selling properties will have 120,000 to create debt tool. Want to do infinite banking with max deferred loans for three years, thoughts, thank you. For me, the, it looks like I'm running a negative, but with the, with the uh, windfall of cash of $120,000, I, I personally, if I was in that position, it looks like I don't have problems making money, but it's about managing the money, and I might have to do a detox on how I'm operating my finances, where is my waste, I need to first just get back to a cash flow positive position. Once I've achieved that and done it consistently for 90 days to about six months, three to six months consistently, then yeah, maybe we do some infinite banking. I don't know. Talk. You can reach out to IBC Global and they can create some illustrations for you to start taking a look at 
Maybe you can get that going. Me personally, I got to get my four major numbers in line before I make any moves. You know, I, again, I don't want people to get hyped up about infinite banking. It's not going to create financial freedom. You're negative the first five years. It takes a while to build the money up. So you have to make sense of that. We have to be cash liquid to really um, benefit from infinite banking, right? It shouldn't be the go-to. It should be an add-on, a feature and benefit that adds more velocity to the whole equation. I would be more in the mindset of 10X, Grant Cardone thinking. How do I explode, create attention? attract attention attract money he always says who's got my money who's got my money All right that's the mindset i want to be in cool should i focus on my new business which may earn 15 profit per month in the 12 to 18 months from today or should i start velocity banking in course i need cash reserve for the next 2 to 12 months thoughts me 10x over everything i throw velocity banking out the window i throw infinite banking out the window I will 10x first over everything. That's my attitude. And then we can velocity banking, then we can play around, you know? But we gotta make the money.